Welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much. Hey, let me ask you guys a question. Uh, who here is a fan of yelling? Yeah. Well, uh, I have some sad news. Because after 47 years, the National Hollering Contest in Spivey's Corner, North Carolina, has been canceled. I know, I know. This world famous contest was dedicated to, quote, the rural tradition of hollering, conveying messages through a series of short, loud sounds from farm to farm before the days of telephones. But the contest has been losing money in the recent years. I guess these days, if you want to see people scream at the top of their lungs, you can just watch the news. <laughs> yes, yes, it's funny because I hear the laughter. Now, I say we cannot lose this cultural beacon. So tonight, I'm proud to announce the first annual Late Show Hollering Contest. From the Ed Sullivan Theater, it's the Late Show Hollering Contest! Whoa! <laughs> Please welcome ten time champion on the Ladies Calling Contest, Sheila Fry. 1978 Holleran Junior Champion Robbie Goodman and six time national champion Tony Peacock, everybody. <laughs> All right. Sheila, Robbie, Tony, thanks so much for being here. Sheila, I'll start with you. What is Holleran and how did it start? Holleran started long ago before there were phones, electricity. People had to communicate, they had to use their voice to communicate with farmers. Their neighbors and in their community for different reasons. Okay, Robbie, what are the different forms of hollering? I understand there are four distinct forms. What are they? Well, you have communicative, communicative you have distress, you have expressive, and there's one more functional. <laughs> functional. Now, uh, uh, Tony, six time champion, um, uh, will hollering become a lost art? I mean, how many people still holler? We hope not. As long as we're hollering, we think there's a chance that it might stay alive. <laughs> well, we're doing our part. We're doing our part. Okay. Uh, Sheila, why don't you start us off right now? Uh, be our first contestant tonight. Let's get you up here. Find the right height for that for yourself. And what kind of holler are you going to lead off with tonight? I'm going to lead off with some expressive hollers, just a little medley. Long ago, people had no electricity. You couldn't watch TV or go to the movies, so you had to have your own fun for sheer entertainment. And is there anything the audience should do in preparation? Just smile. <laughs> All right, Sheila, take it away. Get up here. Robbie, I understand you were 1978 junior hollering champion. How much of the hollering back in 1978 was disco? <laughs> it depends on who can shake a leg, I guess. <laughs> so, what kind of holler are you going to do for us right now, Robbie? What are you going to do? Uh, well, I, I like to do what I won uh, when I was 10. Of course, that was 30 plus years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, a distress holler, and then I want to do your good morning holler. A distress holler? And this is like, I'm in trouble, come help me. Yes. All right, hit it. Pull over. <laughs> that spooked me. That spooked me. I've gotten a lot of trouble with that. Have you gotten in trouble with oh, that? Yes, one? sir. You yes, do sir. sound like a cop. Well, I've gotten. I've actually got a ticket for impersonating an emergency vehicle, but it was thrown out of court. <laughs> Honestly. All right, do what's, what's a good morning holler? Bo oh, Bo oh, 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 that will come in handy, say, if your rooster gets sick and you need to step in for the morning. That comes in handy when you get up of a morning and you may deliver, see another day, and you're feeling good and letting everybody know, hey, I'm alive and well. Yeah. Nicely done. All right, Tony, come up here. Bring it home. Tony, 
No pressure. You are six-time champion of the National Hollering Contest. What kind of holler are you going to treat us to today? I have a signature holler that uh, I use. So the if, first if somebody year... hears this, like, that's Tony. There's nobody else. Right. <laughs> All right. And it can be used for functions on the farm, for calling water or whatever you need when you're out in the field. People would know Tony needs a certain item, and we're going to go help him. Okay. Okay. Tony, take it away. And this was inspired by rhythms I heard as a child as a, from preaching and auctioneers. Okay. Love! Beautiful. Thank you, Tony. That is some good old time. That is some good old time hollering. All right, can I have the trophy, please? Can I have the trophy, please? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready to present the first annual Late Show Hollering Contest. And what's that? I'm being told there is a last minute contestant. Please welcome Uzo Aduba. Uzo. <laughs> Uzo. What a shocker. What a shocker. Uzo, are you ready? Are you ready? A last minute contestant. This is going to shock the hollering world right now. Uh, are you ready to holler? I was born ready. Okay. <laughs> is there anything we need to know about your holler? Um, this comes from the ancient cities of Brooklyn. All right. <laughs> Take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, Uzo Aduba. Champion, to learn how you can help bring back the Hollering Contest, please contact Spivey's Corner Volunteer Fire Department. Sheila Fry, Robbie Goodman, Tony Peacock, and Uzo Aduba, everybody. We'll be right back.